is the young Mrs. Brown. Only six weeks to go before Trevor's wedding. Oh, don't talk to me. So much to do. Don't seem very excited, son. Most important day of your life. I am. He is. I am. He is. He's just nervous. Just oh, oh, for that. Come on. Yes. What did the wife think about the offer? Well, I haven't told her yet. She'll be grand about it. You turned it down? But what about me? What about what I want? You had to be the biggest heartbreaker in the whole school. We all fancied you. This'll be your first white wedding, won't it, Agnes? Mimi? What do you want? Pronto print. Oh, right. That'll be for my wife. Which one of them is her? Can you watch what you say? My mother's a lady. Oh, Jesus, that's beautiful. My brothers are bastards. Ah, look at them all. Oh, shut, shut up! Shut up! Bastards! <laughs> so, did you tell her? Your mother. You know that you're G-A-Y-E. Betty and Mark had a fight and she threw him out. She's very upset, Mummy. Oh, Jesus, poor Mark. I applied to go to Rwanda as a volunteer missionary. Viagra? Not exactly, Mr. Nicholson, but it does have a similar effect on a dog. <laughs> you can't just come wandering back here when it suits you and take over. Things change. You haven't. Mummy, he's a married man. He shouldn't be coming here. Should he not? Not funny, now. You're married and you're fucking here. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Are you all right, love? Mammy, I'm gay. I am happy too. I'm getting married. I have to get home before my father wanks the dog. Jesus, who's been ahead then? Ah, oh, right, Pegasus. Good doggy. Don't hurt your fish. If me mommy could see me now Drinking my drink Smoking my cigarettes If ma could see me now What in the world would she say? Where is the boy who played with a toy he stole from the kid next door? Where is the lad who called to his dad to shout out the football score? If me ma could see me now, would she approve all of the change in me Acting the fool Staying up much too late Would she be pleased If she could see me Schumacher's doing the business again. Jobs, Dermot. Is there any jobs in the paper? You'd hardly get a job as a fucking shoemaker. You couldn't put a heel in a slice pan. Ma. What? What would it be like to work in a lighthouse? A lighthouse? Hmm. Lonely. And you could be away for weeks. No, it just says three days a week. Three days a week in a lighthouse? Yeah. Show me the ad. Yeah, look. Person wanted three days a week for lighthouse work. Job shite. Swear to God almighty, you break my fucking heart. 
Matt, I do all right. A bit here and a bit there. I never leave you short. Did I say you leave me short? Did I say that? No. God knows you get me enough things, Tyler's rolls and, and then tea bags and telephones with no fucking wires. I just want to see you in something permanent. Something you can rely on. Then you might get a nice girl. Like Maria. Ma, would you just give me a break? No. You give me a fucking break. Morning, Thermal. Morning, Rory. Where's Mammy? She's out the back. Mammy. What, he? You're looking very tired. And why wouldn't I be? I walking since I'm fucking two. Mammy. What? Have you a minute to talk? What is it? Mammy, have you ever wondered why I never wanted to play for Mark's football team? I know why. I've known for years, Rory. I just couldn't say it to you. You're crap. You're good at some things, love, but football isn't one of them. Look, if you feel strongly about it, I'll get your trial. Oh, no, Mammy, I don't want a trial. Well, you can't expect to just walk onto the fucking team, Rory. Ah, uh, Mammy, no, you're missing the point. No, you're missing the point. There's fellas down in that club that train twice a week every week. And you expect to walk onto the fucking team. No, you'll have a trial just like everyone else. OK, lads, warm up. OK, Rory, you've got nothing to worry about. I want you to go out there, enjoy yourself and relax. And I'm going to pull you off at half-time. Wow. Come on, Bono. Come on up and cheer. Come on, Rory. Jesus, get rid of it, will you? Get rid of it! Get rid of it yourself! <laughs> oh, yeah! 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 Rory, your nephew's here! Come on, chair. Come on, Auntie Rory! Come on, Auntie... Excuse me, I think you meant... Excellent. Well done, Constantine. Now, the essence of a group session is to get everybody... Talking? No! Listening! Now, the only way for you to discover how to conduct a group session is to try some out. So what I want you to do for me is get a group of friends... No, no. Better still, a family. So your project for next week is to conduct a family group session and we'll discuss your notes back here. Right? That's it, folks. Enjoy the rest of your day. Family group family session. Family group family group session. Family family group family group 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 session. Family family group family group family group session. Group session. There it is. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Do you like it? Yeah. Uh, you know, that would be perfect for the wedding. Well, I've been looking at it now for a couple of weeks. And, you know, it's, it's just that it's so... so me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Agnes, I have to go into the post office. Will you hang on a Yeah, minute? go on. I'll hang on here for you, love. Agnes, it's you. Hedley, Jesus, I didn't recognise you. 
Well, what a wonderful coincidence. You know, I was going to call you today, have a little chat, you know, make sure we don't clash on the day. You and me clash? <laughs> Not at all. You keep your fucking mouth shut, we be grand. No, Agnes, clothes, darling, clothes. I wouldn't want us to be dressed alike. Neither would I. <laughs> exactly. Now, I've picked a little number. Designer label. Mm. BT's Grafton Street. Now, you'll hardly be shopping there, dear, will you? No. But I have me eye in a lovely suit. That one there, in Marcel's. In there? Yes. Well, Agnes, you'll hardly find anything in there that won't cost you an absolute mortgage. Well, then, it'll have to be San Michel. San Michel? Yeah. The designer. San Michel. Oh, St. Michael's. Oh, Agnes, you're so funny. Um, haven't I? Yeah. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, whatever, dear. Steer clear of silver. Silver? Silver. You're wearing silver. I am. Now, I must be off. I can't cool down too much. I feel something coming on. Well, I hope it's nothing fucking trivial. <laughs> see you in the gym, dear. Yeah, I'll see you in the gym. When they start playing fucking bingo, dear. Agnes. Wasn't that Hilary, Maria's mother? Yeah. Come on, we'll go. What about the suit? No. I've changed my mind. Come on, let's go. Will you fucking move? She's wearing silver to the wedding. Silver? Silver? Jesus. She must be coming as fucking Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard James Brown, I knew he'd be late. Ma, will you relax? He'll be here. That child will be found in a ditch somewhere some night with his throat cut. And you can make me the first fucking suspect. <laughs> Cathy, are you right? Look, we're all waiting down here. Can't have a group night without a fucking group. Sorry, Mammy. Well, are we starting or what? Dermot's not here yet. Can we not start without him? It's Cathy's night, I'll leave it to her. I suppose we'll have to. Fine then. Go on, Cathy, get a gun. Now, what's the rules? <laughs> there are no rules, Mummy. Don't be ridiculous, Cathy. You have to have rules, love. You can't have a game without rules. This is not a game, Mammy. It's a family group talk. Excuse me. You just say whatever you like, all right? Well, now, isn't that just what we need before the wedding? A fucking free-for-all? <sighs> Go on, get it going. OK. We'll start with you, Mark. Me? Why me? Well, I don't know. We have to start somewhere, and you're the eldest. It's not my fault. Cathy, I don't mind starting. I had a really weird dream last night. And nobody is interested. Now shut up. Go on, Mark. Cathy's right. You're first. All right, then. My name is Mark Brown. And I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not going to take this serious, then there's no point. Excuse me, I think being an alcoholic is fucking serious. <laughs> He's not an alcoholic, Mammy. Well, my Jesus, Cathy, you're so quick to fucking judge. He's not, Mammy, are you, Mark? No. No. Only an alcoholic denies he's an alcoholic. Jesus. Look, seriously, Mark, how did your day go? It was grand. Ah, oh, come on, it can't be just grand. Well, it was. Just grand. Uh, for God's sake. Were you drinking? Mammy. He is not an alcoholic, all right? I never opened me mouth. Shut the fuck up, you. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to do here is just relax everybody. Yeah, relax. OK? Then we can develop a conversation. That's exactly what I want to do, Cathy. I want to develop. We can talk about things that might be worrying us. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> 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 she 
told me to fucking bark. <laughs> Here, will I do a French cow? Here, le mou. <laughs> Rory, you don't have to put your hand up. If you feel like speaking, you just speak. Go on, Rory. Dino in work. He has a veruca. What the fuck has a veruca got to do with it? Shut up, Mark. You had your chance. Has he, Rory? That's very interesting. I'm on the edge of me fucking seat. Mammy, it's not the Veruca that's interesting. It's the fact that Rory said it. I heard him. I might be a dog, but I'm not fucking deaf. <laughs> Rory, why did you pick that particular thing to start with? Yeah, why? Because you told me to speak. That's a great answer. You did. You said say whatever you like and you don't have to put your hand up. Yes, I know that, Mummy. But what I'm trying to find out now is why Dino's Veruca. Well, don't ask me. He fucking said it. Rory, does this Veruca bother you? No. Are you sure? Because it's obviously on your mind. Answer your sister! Jesus, Mummy, don't shout at him. Now, why would that be, Rory? Why is it on your mind? I, I don't know. Um, he told me about it today and... I don't know. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. I have it. I have it. If Dino only told him about it today, then he's fresh in his memory. That's very good, Mummy. Ah, I get points for that. I think I'm leading. <laughs> Mummy, that is very good. Thank you. But the interesting thing here yeah. is that a veruca is a niggling thing. Niggling, yes. Something that doesn't bother you for a long time. Yes. And then suddenly gets very sore. Troubling. Troubling. Was Dino troubling? Rory, is there something niggling at you? No. I'm sorry I brought the fucking thing up now. Leave me alone. Rory, it could be something from your past. Something rooted that you need to get out that you're not even aware of. Jesus, love. Cathy could be right, Rory. Come on, son, take your shoe off and have a look. <laughs> no, Mammy. I mean something bigger than a feckin' veruca. Like a bunion? Oh, for Christ's sake. <sighs> All right, let's just start again. Roy. And before you ask me, me day was just grand. And he's not an alcoholic. And Dino has a veruca. And I had a really weird dream last night. Will you shut the fuck up? You just don't get it, do you? No. Look, I'm trying to get you all, all of us, yeah, yeah, to reach into your past. Come on, try this with me. Reach into your past. Reach in. Re reach in. in. Reach, reach in. into the Reach in. Do it. Come on. Re <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? Your past isn't that long. Get back. Back. Can't do that. No. Okay, now reach in. I am reaching in, Catty. Okay. I am reaching into the bag of my life. Very good, Mummy. Catty, I am rummaging through the sack of my memories. OK, now, Mammy, I want you to concentrate, OK? And I want you to find that something that holds you back. Yank it out! Shake it at the world and say, fuck off and leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> I'm cured. <laughs> I think I'm cured. No, Mammy, Mammy. Jesus, I'm cured! Mammy, will you relax? Mammy. The reason I want you to find that something, something is so you can understand Stand. the way you feel today. Today. What is she fucking talking about? All right, I'll give you an example. Oh, no, we got an example. Smoke break. <laughs> Mark. Yeah? 
When I was nine, you tore my communion dress. Oh, not the fucking communion dress again, for Christ's sake. You ruined your father's funeral with that. And everyone was having such a good time. Here, I remember your father's last words. What? Oh, fuck, it's a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I tore your communion dress. So what? Uh, well, I hated you for that. Uh, now, there's a word that shouldn't be used in a family conversation. I hate that. Fair enough. I forgive you. What? Good boy. He forgives you. You're a good boy. Hold on a minute now. Mark, you forgive me. For what? Tell her, son. Tell her. To her face. You said you hated me. Yes. I forgive you. Good boy. But, Mark, you're the one that was in the wrong. Excuse me. Now, excuse me. Call me old-fashioned, but he forgives you and he's in the wrong. What kind of jumped up, hiddly diddly giddly old low 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 psychology is this? Maybe you shouldn't be a psychology student. Maybe you should be a fucking patient. She has more baggage than Zsa Zsa Gabor. She made a big thing about Dino's Veruca and he never done a thing on her. Oh, Rory, shut up about the feckin' Veruca. You said we could say that and we liked. Yes. Yes, I did, but it has to be relevant to the point that's being discussed. No, no. You said there was no rules. That's not a rule. Then leave him alone. I won't have any of my children victimised. I was upset and angry for a long time over that communion dress. And you hide it so well. I have a deep-seated hatred for Mark Ober. And Mark forgives you. Now move on with your fucking life, for Christ's sake. That's what I'm trying to do, Mammy. Well, maybe you need a push. We have to talk about these things. Oh, but do we have to listen? How can I help someone come up with a cure for their problem if I don't know anything about it? Go on the internet and surfing. I told you about Dino's Veruca and you'd no cure for that. Oh, shut up, you. Here, now, Rory, tell Dino a carnation plaster, but put it on after the bat. And I'm not even a psychologist. Oh, you're brilliant. Can I talk about my dream? Oh, Jesus Christ, Mark, call the guards. What? Call the guards. I'm going to kill the fucking child. Now look what you started. Don't you dare shout at me, Rory Brown. Who do you think you are? Now, excuse me, you don't get to go around poking your face at other people. He started it first. Step away from the fucking vehicle. Now you listen here to me, Miss Holly Hotrot. You might fancy yourself as some kind of a psychologist, but there's only room for one mother in this house. And where would we get one at this hour? <gasps> oh, oh, spare me, Mammy. Thank you, Rory. Twenty two stitches I had after you. I could walk down Grafton Street on both sides at the same time. Here we go again. For the nine months I carried you. No charge. You know, boys, I'm only glad my husband had the decency to die. He didn't fuck off and leave me. <laughs> it must be a terrible burden. Mummy, your husband didn't die. I beg your pardon. He's just fucking hiding on you. Excuse me! How dare you say that? You're the one that's supposed to be in charge here! I wouldn't put you in charge of cattle! Would you not? Well, it's not my fault. My family are fucking idiots! Well, it's not my fault. You haven't got a penis! She hasn't, has she? A penis is like a willy, only bigger. Roy, I'm out here. Where are you going? I'm just heading down to Foley's, Mark, for a few points. I'm meeting the lads on the football team. Mark, go easy on the drink, love. <laughs> I'm going to Maria's. Oh, hang on, I'm going to Dino's. You're all right, I'll get the dishes. My Jesus, it's only when you have a night like this you can understand why some animals eat their fucking young. Now, 
flowers for the church, soup and sandwiches for after the reception, and a few drinks for the neighbours. <laughs> now, add that up. Jesus Christ. It's a bit more than I bargained for. Good morning, love. M morning, ma. There, ma. You're all dressed up. What's the occasion? Uh, I'm going for an, an, an interview. F for a promotion. To what? S senior partner in casualty. <laughs> Shut up. Good for you, son. You go for it. I'm, I'm a bit nervous, ma. Don't be nervous, son. Just do your best. And if you get too nervous, just close your eyes and say, help me, St. Jude. I promise you, everything will be fine. Thanks, ma. Yeah, Simon, hang on. I'll get dressed. I'll give you a lift down. See you, ma. I see you, love. Morning, ma. Good morning, chicken. There's tea in the pot, love. I'm just slipping into Winnie. Morning, ma. Good morning, love. Yes, you're looking a bit down. What's up with you? Nothing. Nervous about the wedding, eh? A bit, yeah. <laughs> You're shitting yourself, aren't you? Yeah. What if we're doing the wrong thing? Maybe we shouldn't be getting married at all. Are you thinking? What if she doesn't really know me? And when she does, she won't like me? Or what if you only think you're in love and you're not really? Yeah, that's it. Or what if she loves someone else? You think she might? I don't know. I applied to go to Rwanda. You what? On the missions. To Rwanda. <laughs> it's just as well you didn't get it then, isn't it? What? You're getting married. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I doing the right thing, Mac? I don't know, Trev. So nobody knows. Look, what you and Maria have now is a great thing. It's not going to be what you're going to have in ten years' time. They're both going to change. <laughs> Especially when the kids come along. You'll want more. She'll want more. But if you're prepared to listen to each other, it's be grand. Is that what happened? What? You and Betty. Is that what happened? I suppose so. Just couldn't give her what she wanted. Not that I didn't want her. I just couldn't. Now, are you nervous? Y yeah. Don't be. Simon, good luck. Thanks. My name is Simon Brown. Spot on, pal. That's what they need. Someone who knows exactly what their name is.
Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. You're a genius. I suppose I am. <laughs> oh, Maria, it's such a difference. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Sharon? Massive. Come on, we'll go next door for a cappuccino while he's finishing Sharon. Yeah. Sharon, we're going in next door for a cappuccino. Will that be on the news? <laughs> Shut up. Thanks, Maria. Oh, by the way, Cathy, last night was great crack. What? That family group therapy thing, I really enjoyed it. Well, I didn't. Anyway, it's just an exercise for me course, and now it's done. Did you hear that? I'm a genius. Well, listen to me, genius. Either you tell your mother that you're gay by this weekend, or we're finished. Pressure. You know, Daddy, you know, Daddy. What did you say? Smell the dead meat off that. <laughs> Hello. Daddy, Daddy. Okay, see you Thursday. All the best, thank you, bye-bye. Thanks, Rory. Do you know what, Rory? I think I could turn you. Yeah, me stomach. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Rory. See ya. She's just rough, that one. <laughs> Next. Simon Brown. This way, please. My name is Simon Brown. My name is Simon Brown. Oh, Jesus, what am I doing here? Sit down. I have no chance. Please help me, St. Jude. So, what's your name? My name is Simon Brown. When are you going home, Dad? We'll see, son. Was your mommy ever talking about me? Yeah, she was talking about it this morning. What did she say? She said you're an arsehole. Mind your language. Sorry. Did she really say that? Yeah. She said to your man that comes to the house. 
What man? The man that calls to the house. He's been there a few times since you left. Has he now? Yeah. What else are they talking about? Nothing. Except. Yeah? I heard him say he really needs her. shorter. God, imagine what it's going to look like on the day of the wedding. Yeah. Well, you don't sound too excited. <laughs> Sorry, I am. I, I was just thinking of someone else. Something. What? You were just thinking of something else. That's what I said. No, Maria. You said someone else. Oh, did I? If you're having any doubts, now is the... I'd rather have you as my friend and happy than as my sister-in-law and unhappy. That's all. I dream of my wedding every night. All the brands are there. You're there in your bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> I'm standing at the altar. And the priest asked me to say I do, and I say it. And I've never been so happy in my entire life. And then I slide the ring on my husband's finger and, and I look up. Yeah, go on. And it's not Trevor. Jesus, I feel better now. What are you talking about? Men. Specifically my brothers. Yeah, Mrs. Brown's boys. Oh, don't talk to me about them. Excuse me. Did you make that yourself? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> This looks bad. Simon, there'll be other jobs. But I can't apply for them. And why not? Because I... I got this one. <laughs> Why are you a good thing? <laughs> Who the man? And it doesn't matter. I have to spread the good news. Can I tell them? I don't have that much credit, Simon. That's fantastic. Simon got the job. Never a novena wasted. I'll see you down there. Where are you going? We're going down to Foley's for a pint. A boy's night out. You deserve it. Your granddad will love that. I'm not bringing him with me. It's a boy's night out and he's one of the boys. He's going. Now you go up and get yourself ready, I'll get him dressed. Brilliant, I'm on my way. Bye. Dino! What? I have to go. Simon's after getting the job. We're going on the piss. Can I come? No, sorry, it's only family. Oh. Dino. What? Your family as well. Come on, let's go. Barbara, you're in charge. Right. Right, little brother. We're going on that piss. We're the Browns, we're the Browns, we're the Browns. We're the Browns, we're the Browns. We're the Browns. We're the Browns. Jesus, Trevor. 
the next time you have a drink, drink like this, it's going to be at your wedding. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, tonight is your night, Simon. To the new senior casualty porter in St. Patrick's Hospital. Thanks, Trevor. When I was 25, I could piss over the Phoenix Park wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding loony. Ah, leave him alone, Jules. That's very good, Granda. Tell us, did you get one of your medals for that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mind him, Granda. What did he say? Your medals, Granda. He's slagging your medals. Collins. Michael Collins. Granda, did you fight with Collins? I did. Wow. What was it like? We were holed up in the GPO for four days and four nights. And all you wanted was a fucking stamp, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, damn it. Go on, Granda. He said to me, officer, Sir, we've no food and no ammo. There's nothing I can do, he said. And then the Brits attacked. Ah! Jesus, what happened? I shit myself. I don't blame you. <laughs> oh! I shit myself now! Ah, oh, Granta! I know he didn't. <laughs> Come on, Maria. I wasn't in the humour for a drink anyway. We should get a taxi here. I hope so. So how are you? I'm all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to cry. I was just No, trying... I'm sorry, Maria. It's just, I constantly seem to have me guard up. Anytime I'm around Browns, I find I'm watching myself. <laughs> well, they are a close family. Just remember, love, marry a Brown and you are marrying. The whole family. <laughs> no. Just the L one. Taxi! Bastard! He was empty. So how's Bono? He's grand. God love him. He's a smashing little kid. Yeah. And the image of his... His father. Yeah. So you think Mark spat him out? <laughs> Your mother's looking forward to this wedding, what? Oh, yeah. It's a carnival to her. Well, me being the only child gives a very little occasion to show off. I could be marrying Jack the Ripper for all she cares. As long as she has her big day. And uh, now you've been a bit hard on her. No, I'm not. No, you're not. She's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Betty. Mark's in bits. Is he now? I'm sure his mammy will kiss him and make it all better. Do you know what you two are so alike? Me and Mark? No, you and Mrs Brown. Will you feck off? We're as different as chalk and cheese. Here, I think this is a taxi. Let it go. What do you mean me and her are alike? We have nothing in common. Will you both say whatever's on your mind? Look, you both adore Mark. Well, he's my husband. Of course I adore him. But he's her son. He's 35, for Christ's sake. When's she going to let go? But when are you going to stop loving Bono? <laughs> ah, fuck this. I'm walking home. Look, I'll walk with you. No, I'm only around the corner. Look, I'll see you, right? Betty, what this fella you're seeing? Fella? Well, the one you were seeing with in Foley's. Oh, yeah. What about him? Well, is it serious? Look, are you going to see him again? I'm seeing him tomorrow. And believe me, Maria, 
I've never been more serious in my life. Listen, good night. I'll see you before the wedding, right? I'll see you. Here, who's that Dino's talking to? I don't know. Looks like a lifeguard, doesn't he? He does, doesn't he? Get out of my way. I'm just going out to get cigarettes. Do you fancy a game of pool? Yeah, sure. Nice <laughs> How are you, young one? Damn it, Brown. You're not supposed to be in drinking with your brothers. I just popped out to get cigarettes. Anyway, I'm more like my sister's in there. What? Huh? Uh, nothing. So, only a week to go before the wedding, huh? Yeah, a week to go. Did you get your tuxedo? I got the fitting done. They won't actually give you the suit until the morning of the wedding. I think they're afraid you're going to rob it or something. <laughs> <laughs> what about your dress? Well, I have that ages. I think my mother picked that out when I was three. I bet you look beautiful. Honey. I'm trying to get a taxi. Sure, I'll get you. Oh, it's difficult. They don't seem to be stopping. How are you stopping? Taxi! Taxi! <laughs> Jesus! Well, and I'll see you. Good night. Damn it, look, I have to go. Okay. See you. Maria, wait a minute. Please, Dermot, don't. But Maria, I, I just want to have to tell Dermot. you. Dermot, please. Great song! All together now! Ah, fuck them. Did you get your cigarettes? Yeah. I was just coming back. Watch yourself there, pal. Don't pal me. I look after myself. Just don't want to see anyone getting hurt. Marriage is tough enough. Yeah, you should know. What's that supposed to mean? You couldn't keep your own together, could you? You sound happy about that. Well, do you know what? I am. Missed that perfect. Perfect little man, perfect little boy, missed that perfect. No one though. Yes, you were. Just ask Mammy. Oh, Mark's such a good little boy. Mark never stood in a courtroom in his life. Mark never robbed. No, I didn't. Ever. Well, do you know what? Maybe you should. And be a waster, like you. Oh, well, here it is. I'm a waster, am I? Yeah. You are. You got a decent education. You're probably the smartest in the whole family. You could be anything you wanted to be. No. You chose to be a thief. So I should be a carpenter, like you? <laughs> I didn't choose to be a carpenter. I ended up a carpenter. I didn't have a choice. I never had fucking choices. Yes, you do. 
You could be a supervisor right now if you wanted to be. And you'd still have a wife. There's no talking to you. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Sit down. Dermot, sit down. Please. Do you remember Christmas, 1977? Yeah. It was the year Daddy died. Do you remember what you got from Santa? Yeah, a bike, a blue rally road blaster. I'll never forget your face when I seen you that morning. Well, I was only eight. You rubbed your hands over every inch of that bike. It was magic. Well, damn it, I got you that bike. I was told then, I had a milk round, and that year, Frost was so bad. My hands used to stick to the bottles when I went to pick them up. But I didn't care. Because I knew you were getting that bike. Well, give me a fucking guilt trip, boy, don't you? It's not guilt, Dermot. It's just the way it was. I left school the year Daddy died to bring in a few, Bob. You would have done the same. Nah, wait a minute. You're doing it again. Oh. You're turning things all around. I'm not. Yes, you were. This has nothing to do with you not having choices. It has everything to do with me not having choices. Why do you think I turned down that promotion? Oh, I know why. Mark that Mark, that poor old Mark. Couldn't put his tools down, because Mark's one of the lads. I can't read, Dermot. I can't read, and I can't write. What? This new job. It's all paperwork. <laughs> Scared to shit at me. But what about B? She doesn't know. How could she not know, Mark? You hide it, Dan. I'm a fucking expert at hiding it. I can read my name. Labels off things I use a lot. Paperwork. <laughs> paperwork. Scared to shit at me. Mark, would you like to go for a point? Some other time. Something to do. Okay. Catch you later. See ya. Tell you what, we'll go for that point. We can do that other thing in the morning. See ya. Can I talk to you? I'm here, Emily. <laughs> What's wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. Well, I don't think there is. Uh, but, but you might. Rory, is this a riddle? No. Well, then get on with it. Right. Mammy, you know Dino from work? No, no. You mind him. I think he's a transtestigal. That's the point, Mammy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, look at the state of you two. Coming in here like that. How are you, ma? Don't you how are you, ma, me? The two years walking in here like a pair of gutter snipes. 
Mammy, please. Just one second, Rory. You get some coffee and sober up. I'll get the coffee. Rory, I'll sober up, so. <laughs> Rory, don't mind them too. Now, what is it, love? I was hoping to talk to you on your own. You! Get yourself home now, mister. This has gone far enough. Betty, I'm in the middle of something here. Shut up, Rory! Don't you tell him to shut up! You! Are you coming home or not? What happened? Did your boyfriend dump you? Uh-huh. He's not me boyfriend. He's a teacher. A teacher? A teacher? Yes. A teacher. He's looking for a part-time cleaner, so I took the job. And in return, he's going to teach you how to read and write. You know? Of course I know. Now get your stuff and come home to your son. Please. Valerie. Right. Jesus Christ. You think you know everything about your children? Mammy, that's what I want to talk to you about. You can't read or write. Of course I can read and write. Well, what is it then? Sit down, Mammy. Now, I know you're going to find this hard to believe. I'm going to Rwanda. Yeah, what? Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. What? Rwanda? I'm going to Rwanda. On your honeymoon? No, on the missions. But what about your wedding and Maria? I'm not marrying Maria. Jesus. I don't love her. Well, I do. Mammy, I'm a homosexual. Rory, not now, please. You marry her then. I would, in a flash. She loves you anyway. Mammy, I'm a roaring queen. Rory, please, we're in the middle of something here. Did she say that? She doesn't have to. I can see it. You should tell her. A big fucking Nelly. Who's Nelly? Nelly who? I don't know any... What's he... Rory, shut up! I will. I will tell her. Tell her now. Come on. I'll go with you. Will you? I'm going to get me arse tickled in Thomas Street. Good boy, good boy. What do you tell me what's going on, for Christ's sake? Are you upset about me news, Mammy? What fucking news? <laughs> Mammy, you never listen to me. <laughs> went on here. Hiya, Mammy. Hello, son. Are you all right? No. What's wrong, Mammy? Everything. Everything's wrong. I've made the balls a whole lot. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Trevor Brown is so confused, he doesn't know what he wants. Dermot spends his time in and out of courtrooms. I don't know what's wrong with Rory. He says I won't listen to him. And you... I never gave you a chance after your divorce, did I? And he was beating you, wasn't he? I knew it. And when your father died, I was so busy just trying to keep it all together, I, I never even bothered to, to make sure Mark could read and write. I'm an old teacher. Yeah, you're right. I beg your fucking pardon. You're right, Mummy. You are an Egypt. Go on, have your go. Mummy, you're an Egypt because you can't see what you have done. Mark left school at 12, sure enough. But he was there for eight years. And he never missed a single day. Not one day. 
Now, if a school can't teach a child to read and write in eight years, well, that's the teacher's fault, Mammy. It's not yours. The bastards. But, Mammy, he's grown into one of the hardest working men, husband or father I know. He's a good boy. Mammy. He's a brown. Mm -hmm. He is. God love him. He's a brown. And Trevor's just found out he's not in love. Oh, Jesus Christ. But Mammy, you reared a man who's able to admit that. He has courage. And what's wrong with Rory? He's not a fucking brown. No, I mean, he's not like a brown. Mammy, Rory knows what he wants to say to you. He's just afraid of hurting you. Don't be ridiculous, Cathy. Rory couldn't hurt me. He's one of my boys. Jesus, I wish all men were that sensitive. Yes, I know you do. And me, Mammy? Yeah. Come on. Mammy, I'm just like you. If it's wrong, I change it. You taught me that. So you see, Mammy, when you look at all of us Dermot. and you see. What? He forgot all about Dermot. I didn't forget about him. You did forget him. him. You never mentioned him. I didn't forget him. You forgot, Dermot. I didn't forget about him, Mammy. I just couldn't think of something nice to say about him. Well, go on. You tell me something nice about him. He makes me laugh. Jesus, he always makes me laugh. Come here, Mammy. Stop that. Mammy, please. Come here. Better go to bed, Mummy. I'd be lost without you. These last couple of days. <laughs> now I have to ring the Nicholsons and cancel the wedding. Well, I wouldn't do that, Mummy. No, Trevor said he's not going to marry her. No way, no how. <laughs> he's going on the fucking missions. <laughs> he could be gone for days.
Yeah, yeah, we're just coming. She, she's still getting Wait, dressed. wait. That's all I do is I wait. Know, I know, women. What can you I'm do? not longer a hospital. <laughs> Fuck off, dog. Maria, have you any idea what time... So what do you think? Oh my God, Maria. You... You're beautiful. Does it remind you of your wedding day? Well, uh... Not as much as the... Not as much as the exorcist did. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah. the smoke in here. Come on, everybody out. Out. Get out. Hey, you two, out. Kathy, you need a hand up there. I need flowers down there. I have them here. I've never seen a bridesmaid's dress look as good on anyone. Mick, the cars are here. Ma, the cars are here, are you all right? The dress from Marcel's window. I know, I told you, it's an absolutely beautiful. Mummy, where did you get it? Somebody left it on the bed for me. Don't look at me. I didn't rub it. But now, I did. <laughs> Go on, there, Margo. <laughs> now, Let's all get to the church. Wait, Mammy. What is it now? There's just one more surprise. What? Rory Brown. Mammy, I tried to tell you. Gigs is the best. David Beckham's the best. Why gigs the best in the world? David Beckham's the best in the whole world. Oh no! Hold that. There you are. I couldn't find you. Come on. Look at you smoking at your age, and you an altar boy. Get in there and do that with. Thank God, son, you're not like that. Come on. It was made perfectly clear that I was to organise the church music. Well, it wasn't made perfectly clear to me. <sighs> I clear... Harry, lovely day. Oh, thank you, dear. I'll catch you later. I cleared it, Maria. And I Trevor. It's a great lovely. day. Oh, thanks very much, Shaky. Thanks. Get a seat there any way you like, love. I cleared it with Maria and Trevor. She's not marrying Trevor, is she? And I cleared it with Dermot. You don't even know what song she's chosen. Oh, yes, I do. Maria, from the musical. Well, I have a soloist. I have a whole choir. Look, you two, can you not just stop arguing for once? Remember, this is Dermot and Maria's wedding. Now, look, two of them not seen together. Your soloist and your choir. Fine. Good. 
soloist will start first. This means war. The most beautiful sound I've ever heard. How do you solve the problem like Maria? Maria! I've just met a girl named Maria. How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? Maria! Say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. How do you find a word that means Maria? A flippity jibbity will the whisper come. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman together in holy matrimony. <laughs> Who gives this woman? I do. Sorry. My husband does. Every time I hear Down my spine I'm stuck in love Can't complain this time Really don't know what to say I can't believe it's true Like a song I heard somewhere I'm still stuck in So do you, Trevor, take Maria to be... No, damn it, father. Damn it. So, so, do you, Trevor, take damn it to be... No, I'm damn it. You're damn it. I'm Maria. You're Maria. Well, where's, where's Trevor? Here, father. Trevor, so you're not marrying Trevor, and you're not marrying Trevor. No. Trevor, who are you marrying? I'm going to Rwanda. On the missions. You come to Rwanda on the missions, Trevor. Fair play to you. Are you going soon, son? Sure, well done, well done, well done. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so, so, what are we doing? We're marrying each other. We're marrying each other. Oh, no, I can't do that, love. I'm a priest. I'm a priest. No, you can't. No. You are marrying us. Oh, I'm... That's... Uh, no, no, okay. So, do you dare it? Take Maria to be your lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> oh, do be quiet, dear. <laughs> Shut up, <at> me. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in conclusion, I'm just like to say how proud that uh, Mrs. Nicholson and myself are, and uh, 
Well, <laughs> we're not so much, a, so much losing a daughter as well, gaining a wonderful family. <laughs> So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to, uh, to raise your glasses and, and wish the happy couple all the very best for the future. Cheers. The happy couple, cheers! To both of you, cheers. Good health. That was a lovely meal. Fine. And the entertainment will be even better. <laughs> what, dear? I didn't think you'd be into karaoke. Oh, on the contrary, Agnes. My family are wonderful performers. And your family will really enjoy them. My family are wonderful performers too. Yes, but not to the same extent as mine. Mine will be better. Oh. Would you like a little wager on that? No, but I'll have a bet. <laughs> So be it then. Let's say, um, a hundred euro, and we'll let the audience decide. Fine. Ah. You all right, love? That is it. Yes, all right. Lovely. Are you two all right? Yeah, Ma, thanks. Yeah, gorgeous. Thanks, Mrs. Brown. You all right, my glove? I'm well, grand, yeah. You look very happy with yourself. I am. I'm after making a bet with Hurdley about which side will have the best singer. She doesn't know about her Uncle Gonzo. Ma, Hi. Uncle Gonzo is dead. What oh, fuck? Mm. Creation. I bang my own drum. <laughs> no phone, no pen, no pen. I ain't got no cigarettes. I got two hours.
I'm going to sing. I think he's going to sing. Mac is going to sing. Mac is going to sing. He's going to sing the song. No way. Way. Damn it. Well, uh, Mac's going to sing. Well, if he's going to sing, I'm going to dance. We're dancing. Mommy, come on, let's dance. Come on, Winnie. We're dancing. Oh, stop, Maggie. I don't dance. Come on, Winnie. I seen you doing the cha cha cha. That was when Adam was in the fire brigade. <laughs> Just fucking dance. <laughs> cha cha cha. I'd like to sing this song, especially for my beautiful wife, Betty. Hit it there, King Kong. Come on, Maria. You're a brown now. Hey, come on. Hey, come on, the brown. Where do they go from here? When do they stop? I believe that fame has brought us here. We should be together, boy. But we are not. I play it off, but I'm thinking of you. I keep my cool, but I'm Feeling, try to say goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. My work crumbles when you are not near. Goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. My work crumbles when you are not near. I'm in But I'm just a prisoner of your love. I may seem alright and I smile when you need, but my smile is just a front, just a front of hunt. I play it off, but I'm thinking of you, thinking of you, baby. I keep my cool, but I'm Try to say goodbye and not joke. Try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. My work comes when you are not near. Goodbye and I joke. Try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. My work comes when you are not near. Here is my confession. 
I know, I told you, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck. Deals are rolling. Action! Now, let's all get to the... Hold on a second, hold on a second. Action is your cue to move. All right. Yeah. yeah that's that's what action means, move. Yes, mm -hmm. My name is so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, pal, that's what they need. Someone around... Someone who knows their own fucking name. <laughs> yeah, pal, that's what they need. Someone who knows her own bloody line. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, that would be perfect for the wedding. We go back and do it again with that fucking truck. You know, that would be perfect for the wedding. Well, I've been looking at it for a couple of weeks now. You know, I just think it's... it's so... Yeah, big bollocks. <laughs> when I was 25, I got pissed over the Phoenix Park wall. Did you have a vibrating mobile at the time? Yeah, Here's the Clyde. Hello? Special creation. I bang my own drum. Sorry, you must have fucking my up. Because I got, got this one. Well, you're good thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's that. We're going on the piss. We're the Browns, 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 we're the Browns. Am I doing the right thing, Mike? We don't know, Trev. 
So nobody knows. Look, what you and Maria have now, it's great. Stop fucking smiling at me, Paddy. I seen before that. Oh shit, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Very keen, isn't he? Yeah. What's the movie about? It's about to settle a stutter. <laughs> I'm going for an interview. For for a promotion. To what? Oh, sorry, I thought... No, oh, sorry, you're... Sorry. Yeah. Well, you, I'm going for a promotion. For an interview. For a promotion. Senior partner. Stop in here anytime you fucking like. You know, we're not paying you as Charlie Chaplin. We want you to say the words. You're not right. taking myself here. I'm going for a promotion. Uh, for sorry for an interview. Sorry. I'm just going out to Foley's for a few points, ma. Thank you. I'm meeting the lads from the football team. Thank you. I might have more than a few <laughs> points, ma. <laughs> I'll be with eighty euros in your pocket. <laughs> It'll be a long night. For fuck's sake. I'm going to Rwanda. On your honeymoon? No, on the missions. Well, what about your wedding and Betty? I'm not marrying Maria. Uh, Maria even? <laughs> well, what about your wedding and Maria? Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to Rwanda. On your honeymoon? No, on the missions. <laughs> <laughs> on your honeymoon? No, on the missions. <laughs> Rory Brown. <laughs> yes, <You> slapper. <laughs> I've known for years. I just couldn't say it to you. You're crap. You're good at some things, love. But football isn't one of them. I know why, love. You do. Yeah, crap. And when you run along the pitch, your Mickey sticks out under the nicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm dangles down. <laughs> <laughs> Whacking off your knee. I know, I love. <laughs> I've seen insurance. Put him near a Halloween and go round as a petrol pump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. No <laughs> fucking messing, Rory. <laughs> you do? I've known for years, Rory. I couldn't say it to you. You're crap. <gasps> but if you face stop me. Lunch break. Mammy, have you minutes to talk? What is it? You're not after getting some girl pregnant, are you? Mammy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of jumped up hiddly diddly giddly loud 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 psychology is this? Maybe you shouldn't be a student. Maybe you should be a fucking patient. <laughs> you have more baggage than Josh Agabor. A few more hilly 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 Say something, look. Anything. Let me know you're there. <laughs> Go to the lights, Rory. <laughs> Go to the lights. She made a big thing about Dino's Farouk. There's a tissue around. Yeah. She made a big thing about Dino's Farouk. <laughs> 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 